was first infected with HIV in 1993. And I came down with full blown AIDS in 2005. And got strep pneumonia and almost kicked the bucket. But God pulled me through. And I came back. And that won't kick in butt. <laughs> because babes could provide something I couldn't. I've spent 10 years with her. I saw the other medication. I'm the one who carried her to the bathroom. I'm the one who carried her up the stairs. But I could not look her in the eye and say, I have been there. Now you look at me and tell me I don't understand what you're going through. And if I can do it, you can do it. And that's what Pat could provide. Babe has been here for me for 20 years. It was 20 years, February the 1st of this year. I wasn't here when they first started up, but I'm gonna tell you, if it wasn't for babes, me and my six children, and now eight grands, we wouldn't have never made it. Without babes and the support that they've given me, I would not be where I am today. I've been clean and sober for over two years. full custody of my son, Theodore, and I'm in a wonderful relationship and I have a great job where I'm able to reach out to other women and receive support at the same time. And as a gay man, I can tell you there is a wealth of services, despite all the budget cuts available to me and in my community. Babes is the only thing serving the women and children in our community. And it is, it is vital that we don't fail them, you know. I'm here because I'm a psychologist, and as a psychologist, I know that HIV has been the top 10 killer of women of color for the past decade. I've seen women come into my office who have nothing and who haven't had anything for a long time and they find support in a group of other women who make them believe that they are someone and that HIV isn't the end and that there's a future for them and there's a future for their children and that they have a place. Most critically, BAPES is the only community-based organization in this area that fills the void for support for HIV-positive HIV women. The following examples may help this, make this point more clearly. The last two patients referred to BAPES from our clinics were a 16-year-old African-American high school student and a 47-year-old heterosexual single mother of nine. Where would these women go for support without BAPES? I was a babe before AIDS, and I'm still a babe. So we said, that's who we are. We're the babes with AIDS. 